10. Sir Victor Goddard. This story really freaks me out. Sir Victor Goddard was a wing commander in 1935 and he was making a trip over to an airbase in Drum, Scotland. Little did he know that this routine trip would change his life forever. As he was flying over the base, he took in the rough condition it was in. The fields were unkept with grass cracking through the tarmac and cattle had begun invading to graze. Then suddenly the weather took a miserable turn and in order to prevent an accident, he decided to make for a landing at the base. But as he got closer and closer to landing, the rain began to let up and the sun broke through the clouds. Suddenly he saw a flurry of mechanics in clean and tidy blue uniforms working diligently on yellow planes. Usually the mechanics at the time formally wore khaki uniforms so the blue was a bit of a shock. Additionally they were working on yellow planes instead of silver. Goddard left shaking his head to remove whatever fever dream he was having, only to revisit the exact moment when he visited the site again four years later. He saw the exact same thing, blue uniforms, yellow planes and had to deal with quite a fierce bit of deja vu. Ever since this story came to light, it's not hard to believe he traveled into the future. Or back in time. Number 9. Greta Thunberg's Doppelganger What doesn't this girl do? First she takes on the world's global environmental issues, gaining recognition on like every media outlet and now she may be a time traveler. Social media blew up with the time travel theories when a 19th century photo surfaced that features Greta, or at least someone who looks just like her. It's true, the resemblance is astounding, so is this a case of time traveling, adventures, or just a common gene pool? Well, firstly, the situation of the photo doesn't actually suit Thunberg's environmental initiatives. The photo was taken in 1898, and the three children featured in it are sifting for gold, like Greta would ever be seen next to a mine. According to the University of Washington Libraries, the photo was also taken in the Canadian Yukon Territory. Far from Greta. Greta hasn't responded to the fanatics obsessed with the photo, and her silence only feeds the theories. Who knows? Maybe she just has one of those faces, or maybe she was sent back to do more of her research. After all, Greta does seem to prove time and time again that she isn't your average teen. Number 8. A mummy loves some Adidas. Discovering a mummy is a pretty big deal in itself, but discovering one with some pretty sweet kicks? One of the most unique and oldest pairs of shoes were discovered when a Mongolian mummy was unearthed. Her body was found in the Altai Mountains in Mongolia, and on her feet were a peculiar pair of shoes. They looked like trendy Adidas shoes. Now they aren't actually Adidas, but they do feature the signature striped style of the shoe. After the restoration, it was revealed that they were actually a pair of knee-high boots with a striped black and red pattern. They also featured decorated buckles and leather soles. Our ancient fashionista also carried with her a clutch bag, mirror, comb, a knife, and a saddle with the remains of a horse. So lots, lots to do. Researchers estimate that she died due to a blow to the head. Interesting. I know, I know, this may have taken the wind out of your sails, but considering they appear so similar to today's designs, could it be that she might have gotten her inspiration from a distant traveler? A traveler who sported remarkable striped leather shoes and inspired the 1,000 year old seamstress? Number 7. The Philadelphia Survivor The Philadelphia Experiment is perhaps one of the most famous urban legends slash conspiracy theories slash actual historical event. For context, the Philadelphia Experiment is an alleged military experiment that was carried out by the US Navy. In 1943, the USS Eldridge allegedly was made invisible and teleported from Pennsylvania to Virginia, either through time or parallel universe. What's the difference really? The story actually originated in 1955 when ex-merchant marine Carl M. Allen claimed to witness the event. He sent a book full of handwritten annotations to prove it, though it might be a hoax. Who knows? Did this actually happen? Who knows? But the movie definitely did, and it did nothing to help the conspiracy theories circling the world. But a man named Alfred Bielek found the film incredibly life changing, as while watching it, he realized who he actually was the lone survivor of the experiment. After seeing the 1988 film, Bielek's memories came flooding back, and he was actually Ed Cameron, and he had been born in 1916. So if this was real, it ticks all the boxes parallel universes, time travel, aliens, Philadelphia. Science. Number six, the missing hotel. This one gives me like Howl's Moving Castle vibes. Could be because I watched it recently for like the 12th time, so I don't know. But a building that's there one minute and then gone the next, I don't know. A couple traveling Europe had a unique experience, one they will never forget, despite history seeming to. This story was featured on a TV series called Strange But True. Two couples headed off to Spain in the 1970s to live their best lives, but time travel wasn't on the itinerary. They were on their way from England, passing through France, when they decided to stop and search for accommodations. Everywhere in Montelamar was packed, save one place that was simply labeled hotel. They got a room that was tremendously old fashioned, with no glass in the windows and no phone. But it was the breakfast 
the next morning that shocked them. The other guests were dressed in like outdated clothing and their breakfast only came out to 19 francs, like which was way lower than what they thought. Hey, that's a win. They took tons of pictures of the vintage hotel and planned on returning next time they were in Europe. But the hotel disappeared. When they looked for the hotel again, it was no longer there and no locals knew what the heck they were talking about. Even eerier, their photographs did not develop. Like it had all been a glitch. Number five, the bridge opening. Next up we have this picture. See if you can spot the one who is out of place. Found him? In case you missed it, we are talking about the gent dressed in the all too familiar type of like hipster style. He sticks out like a sore thumb with his thick black glasses, graphic t-shirt and what looks to be some kind of hooded cardigan. This photo blew up across time travel enthusiast forums like he's the ultimate hipster. The location of the photo was at the reopening of the Southport Bridge in Goldbridge, British Columbia in 1941. He also looks to be the, like the youngest guy in the photo. Strange considering he would have been enlisted in the Canadian Army at that point. Correct me if I'm wrong. So why is such a young circa 2010 sporting gent standing at the Southport Bridge? Could it be he was sent back to document the event and was accidentally documented himself? <laughs> Number four, Andrew Carlson. This next one is for all my game stoppers out there who love that Robin Hood story. I did too. I really did. It sounds like Andrew Carlson pulled a biff from Back to the Future though. Police arrested the 44 year old in 2003 when he was somehow able to turn $800 into 350 million over two weeks. Like that's the damn dream, man. Authorities believe that he must have had insider help, which according to Andrew wasn't exactly untrue. Andrew told the court that he was actually a time Time traveler from the year 2256, and that is how he knew. Obviously, who the heck would believe that ridiculous excuse? But wait, it gets weirder. Andrew disappeared without a trace. A month later, a mysterious benefactor paid a million dollar buyout to get him out. On April 2nd, Andrew was supposed to meet with his lawyer, but he had entirely disappeared without a trace. No evidence of his existence could be found before the year 2002. Andrew, can you come back and just tell me how you did that? That'd be great, you know? Anyways, number three, put your phone away. When I go to my next concert, there is one thing I really hope I don't see. People watching like the whole th thing through their phones while they're at a live concert, it just bothers me so much. Like maybe do it once to commemorate it, but not the entire time, my dude, you know? Someone should have said that to this time traveler in the background of Mike Tyson's 1994 match with Peter McNeely. Check this out. Yup, right in the background is a smartphone. Obviously, right? I still remember my mom having like a tiny screen dial phone well into like 2001. There was no way what looks to be a galaxy phone would be around back then. Debunk this photo if you want, but if that is indeed a time traveler who was sent back, dude, time and place. Number two, the Nazca astronaut. Out of all the items on this list, this is the largest example of time travel in history by sheer size. The Nazca lines are located 250 miles south of Lima, Peru and feature over 70 massive depictions of animals that can only be seen from the sky. But the one we are talking about is definitely either a sign for aliens or time travel. Among the 70 images, there's a strange humanoid figure that looks remarkably similar to an astronaut. Some of the designs from the geoglyphs measure around 30 miles and experts have no idea how or why these drawings were created with such precision. The astronaut is the strangest of them all. It kind of looks like not only an astronaut, but it looks like it's waving, you know? Weird. Was this an homage to a strange spaceman who came traveling and visited the people of Peru? I personally wouldn't be surprised. And last but not least, Edgar Allan Poe. This last and final one, I have to thank Olivia for like <laughs> helping me dive down this rabbit hole because it really is convincing. I'm fully on board. So is she. So here we go. Edgar Allan Poe has to have been a time traveler, or maybe he still is. Either way, he must have had some sixth sense. Okay, so first off, he predicted the future. 46 years after Edgar published his first novel called The Narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket in 1838, something weird happened. At one point in the book, their ship, Grampus, became stranded without food or water after a mutiny and must resort to desperate measures. The crew draws straws to see who would be sacrificed for sustenance, a boy named Richard Parker. Parker lost the deal. 46 years later, in 1884, the exact thing happens with the exception that the boat was a sinking yacht. Four men were set adrift and forced to do the same thing and guess the name of the boy who died. Richard Parker. Example one. 
Example 2, 1840, Poe penned the story called The Businessman Who Endures a Violent Life After a Head Injury. He was hit in the head as a young kid, causing an injury to his frontal lobe which Poe seemed to entirely understand in intricate detail. But the first time behavioural changes caused by this kind of injury were able to be studied didn't come until 1848. An actual neurologist Eric Altshuler wrote and I quote, There's dozens of symptoms and he knows every single one. There's everything in that story we've hardly learned anything more. It's so exact that it's just weird and it's like he had a time machine." Unquote. Point 3. Who is the figure who visits Poe's grave every year and puts a rose on it? Perhaps Poe is coming back to honor a past life. After all, why is a raven like a writing desk? Because Poe wrote on both. Starting off this countdown, we have the man from 2236. So apparently there are a number of time travelers on TikTok. One of them being a person that goes by the username at real TikTok time traveler. And they have to be a real time traveler because they have real in their username. Anyways, they have a number of eerie predictions. One of them being that in September of 2022, a celebrity that is dead is going to come back to life. Sort of. Apparently the celebrity faked his death, so by September it will be revealed that he is still alive. Now this got many people thinking. They think it could be anyone from Tupac to Michael Jackson, even XXX Tentation. I guess we'll just have to wait and see if this comes true. And if it is true, who do you think it is? In our ninth spot, we have the Omega variant. By now, we all want things to go back to normal, but it seems like we might never see normal again, especially since this next time traveler claims that by April 19th of this year, there will be a new strain, strain Omega. Now, with how fast this virus is mutating, it's not hard to believe that soon another strain will rear its ugly head. But what is scary is that they said this strain will be five times worse than all other strains. So much for being hopeful. Time to lock myself in a room and never come out. Moving on to number 8, we have the aliens. Now, a number of time travelers claim that soon our world will be taken over by aliens. Let's take a look at TikToker Aesthetic Time Warper, for example. He has shared a number of videos saying that he is a time traveler from the year 2714. And last year, he made a prediction that on September 11th of 2022, he says, and I quote, an alien takes 4,000 skilled workers and children to the planet Proxima B as a result of another hostile species coming here. But that did not come true. Unless it did come true and we just didn't know that people went missing. Like the aliens wiped our memory of them or something. Who knows? Moving on to number 7, we have the alien civilization. So the alien predictions don't stop there. A different self-proclaimed time traveler claims that by August of 2022, an alien civilization will be discovered on Earth. Apparently there is an underground alien race living on Earth. And in 4 months, they are going to make themselves known to us. In fact, August 2nd is the exact date that they shared with the world. So, on August 2nd, get ready for alien life to be exposed once and for all. My only hope is that if this is real, that the aliens are chill. I mean, if they've been living underground for all this time, like, why haven't they made their presence known earlier? I'm a little scared to find out why. Coming in at number 6, we have the volcano eruption. So what I'm learning from this video is that 2022 is going to be one hell of a year. Because not only are we encountering aliens, but we will be faced with a series of volcanic eruptions. Maybe the aliens are coming to our rescue. Now, good news. One of the time travelers said a volcano eruption would occur on March 15th. And that date has passed, and no volcano has erupted. Thank gosh. But they also said that one is going to occur on June 22nd. So hopefully they'll be wrong about that one as well. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the war. Another time traveler believes that in 2022, a war will break out between the US and North Korea. They said it would start on March 22nd, which thankfully, it did not happen. So hopefully they were just full of crap and making all this stuff up. But I will say, this prediction conveniently released when North Korea was caught test firing a number of missiles. And then Kim Jong Un told military officials to be ready to mobilize troops. So help me, if there's a World War 3 I'm done, I can't handle it. But like I said, this prediction was false as we are now in April. So hopefully it just never comes true. In our fourth spot we have the sea levels rising. 
Global warming is a very serious issue. At this point, scientists have predicted that in a couple of years, major cities will be underwater. Well, a time traveler who goes by the name Edward claims that he got sent to the future. So according to Edward, he was part of a top secret experiment that took place in 2004. During the test, he was successfully transported in time. He was taken to LA 5,000 years in the future. And it's not looking too good. He said, and I quote, I was standing on a huge wooden platform. And after I realized it was the same city, Los Angeles, but underwater. This man's claims were actually backed up with evidence as he took a photo of LA underwater. Good thing he packed his underwater camera with him. I don't know. But the image is pretty blurry, but it appears to be an aerial view of LA underwater. At least we won't be around in 5,000 years. In our third spot today, we have more aliens. So another self-proclaimed time traveler who goes by the name Noah also had a prediction about aliens. Noah claims that he is from the year 2030 and he got sent back in time to 2018. He then decided to share what life is like in 2030. And according to him, by 2030, the government will reveal that time travel is real and we will encounter alien beings. Honestly, all these time travelers contradict themselves, so I doubt that this is real, okay? Again, unless these aliens are friendly, like if they're chill, then that's cool by me. In our second spot, we have the massive sea creature. By now, you should realize just how massive and mysterious the ocean is. I mean, we've done a million videos on the ocean, but still only 5% of the ocean has been discovered. In fact, scientists predict that there are anywhere from a few hundred thousand to more than 10 million undiscovered sea creatures. But by September 17th, 2022, we could discover one of these creatures. This time traveler claims that on that date, the largest creature to date will be found in the ocean, the Kirin Cronan, which is a large sea creature in Scottish Gaelic folklore. This beast is so large that it once ate seven whales in one go. It is over four times the size of a blue whale. And not only that, it can disguise itself as a smaller fish to fool fishermen. So they're like, oh yeah, look at the fish I caught. And then all of a sudden, this beast emerges and swallows the fisherman right up. So maybe everyone should avoid fishing and any large bodies of water on September 17th. And in our number one spot today, we have the human chimpanzee. For those of you that haven't heard, a number of scientists have been doing experiments on chimps to try and make a human chimp hybrid, aka the human Z. And maybe scientists have succeeded. On September 26 of 2021, a time traveler revealed that a chimp gained the power to talk as scientists successfully managed to mutate its vocal cords. The scariest part is that it said that the chimp had some mysterious things to say, but again, this time has come and gone and I haven't heard anything about a talking chimp. So either it has happened and the government is just hiding it or it's false news. But I will say it won't surprise me if this prediction does come true in the future. Starting off this countdown, we have the photographic evidence. A couple of years ago, a man named Edward came forward claiming that he was a time traveler from the year 5000. He even came with evidence. Now he used a fake name and had his identity hidden so people weren't gonna come after him. So according to Edward, he claims he was part of a top secret experiment that took place in 2004. During the test, he was successfully transported in time. He was taken to LA 5,000 years in the future. And it's not looking too good. He said, and I quote, I was standing on a huge wooden platform. And after I realized it was the same city, Los Angeles, but underwater. This man's claims were backed up with evidence. He took a photo of LA underwater. I don't even know what to think. Either he's good at Photoshop or he's actually a time traveler. I just thought that the water would be way more polluted than that. Like that's far too clear. You know, it's a little sketchy. In our ninth spot, we have Vladimir Putin. It turns out that the president of Russia is a time traveler. Take a look at these photos. First, we got a Russian soldier from 1920, and he looks identical to Putin. Then we have another Russian soldier from 1941, and he also looks like a young Putin who is pictured on the far right. Too eerie. Either he's a mortal or he's a time traveler. Moving on to number 
eight, we have the TikTok time traveler. Now I talked about this case briefly before and I'm throwing it on today's list because it's the most recent case of time travel. Basically a guy named Javier claims that he is a time traveler who is now stuck in the year 2027. The scariest part is that the entire human race is wiped out by then. On his TikTok page, he posts videos of him wandering the streets of Spain alone. He has gone to stadiums, airports, police stations, hospitals, restaurants, and malls. No one is there except himself, which is crazy because normally those places would be packed with people, but they aren't. So here's the thing, either he's a time traveler and was sent to the future to warn us, or he's somehow faking it. But a number of people have analyzed his videos. Some people believe he edits everyone out of the video. Sure, it's possible to edit objects and people out of videos, but it's harder to do with multiple people in the shot, in which there would be, and it's harder if the people are moving around, which they would be. Another theory is that these videos were pre-filmed, that they were filmed during the pandemic when they were under lockdown and had a curfew. But in order to prove that that's not the case, he gets his followers to tell him where he should go next. He then will go to that specific place and prove no one is there. The freakiest part is he has gone to hospitals. If this was filmed during the pandemic, the hospitals would be filled with people. But when he walks around, no one, and I mean no one, is there. Maybe this is real and we should take him seriously. Who knows? But believe what you want to believe. In our seventh spot, we have the 800 year old cell phone. In 2016, a group of researchers unearthed an ancient looking cell phone in Austria. The phone is covered in cuneiform writing, which dates back to thousands of years ago, making this object thousands of years old. But obviously, we didn't have phones back then, when this clearly looks like it was modeled after a Nokia phone. Alien hunters believe that it comes from an advanced civilization that has come to Earth. Others believe that this object is proof of time travel. What's even more weird is that I can't seem to find much about this phone online, so it looks like no one has debunked it yet. Maybe it's real then, who knows? In our sixth spot we have the man named Noah. Back in 2018, a man came forward claiming that he was a time traveler from the year 2030. He called himself Noah, obviously it's not his real name, and he sat down for a television interview to share with the world what life is like in 2030. But of course, his face and voice were distorted to protect his identity. He said that he can't let anyone know who he really is. Basically, he said that he will be killed for speaking the truth about time travel. He goes on to prove that he's a real time traveler by getting an x-ray of his hand. Upon doing so, it's revealed that there's a weird device implemented in his wrist. That's what Noah says is what helps him when he time travels. Not only that, but he underwent a lie detector test and he passed it, showing that his claims were real. Now, what did he say is in store for the future? Well, since this occurred in 2018, he said that in 2019, it will be filled with more UFO sightings, which yes, that was true. He also claims that in 2028, that's when aliens will come down to Earth, and that's also the year that the government will reveal that time travel is real. That's pretty intense, if you ask me. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the Antikythera mechanism. In 1900s, a team of divers exploring the Greek island of Antikythera made a fascinating discovery. They came across an ancient shipwreck. The ship was filled with statues, jewelry, coins, pottery, you name it. They were all like, booyah, jackpot. As they continued searching the ship though, they came across this weird object. It was a blob of corroded bronze and wood. Two years later, an archeologist decided to examine this and discovered it was an astronomical clock. But the items came from ancient Greeks and clocks hadn't been invented then. This item was in similar size to a mantle clock and the bits of wood fragments on it suggest that it was probably in a wooden case. They also believe the case would have had like a circular face or rotating hands. There was also a knob on the side and the mechanism could rotate forwards and backwards. Needless to say, it was a fairly complex object for that time period. So some believe that it was left by a time traveler. If not, then what could this device be? And how come it was so advanced for its time? In our fourth spot, we have the year 3207. Quote, was time machine. They took me to a room filled by many kinds of displays, gadgets, wires that I had never ever seen. 
The head of project came to me and told all about that mystical project. A couple of years ago, an unidentified Greek man came forward saying that he traveled in time to the year 3207. He claims that he was shot forward in time and spent two days in the year 3207 as part of a top secret military program. He was paid $100,000 to do so. That after some minutes they would send me to the year 3207. As I understood, I was kind of laboratory mouse for them, you know. But the money and career that I was suggested were worthy for it. He claims that in the future the buildings were massive, triple the size that they are today. He also says that there were flying cars and that there was strange colored grass. It wasn't green, but a deep purple. And lastly, he said that aliens, humans, big animals, and robots were all walking together down the street. Uh, that's pretty interesting, not gonna lie. Don't know if I believe that guy, but some people do. I mean, he also showed photographic evidence, but claims that the photos got a bit distorted while going through the whole time travel process. To me, they kind of just look like bad Photoshop, but you decide. In our third spot, we have Paul Dynick. Now, if you haven't heard about this case before, then oh, you're in for a shock. In 1921, a man named Paul Dynick, a Swiss Australian teacher, slipped into a coma for about a year. For that year, he claimed that he went to the year 3096, where he switched consciousness with a man named Andrew Northman. One minute he was in a coma, next he's inside Andrew's body speaking a foreign language. For that year, he was living as Andrew. Paul was so scared to tell anyone of this experience, so he just wrote it in his diary and kept it a secret. However, just before he passed away, he gave his diary to one of his students to translate. And that's when it was revealed that he had somehow time traveled to the future. It's pretty insane. Could he be telling the truth or was it all just a coma dream? In our second spot, we have the time traveling murderer. Okay, this next story is going to leave you baffled. Back in 2014, a woman was found dead in London. It was clearly a murder. Thankfully, her attacker's DNA was found all over her body. Upon doing a forensics test, they got a match. But here's the thing. The supposed attacker was found dead a full three weeks before her victim. So how is it possible for her to kill someone when she had already died? So people think that the killer was a time traveler, and that days before her own death, she went a couple weeks into the future to kill this woman. I don't even know. It's just an insane case, if you ask me. And in our number one spot today, we had the London Hammer. Back in 1936, Texas, a man named Max Hahn and his wife were out for a walk when they stumbled upon this odd rock with a tool sticking directly out of it. This is what is now called the London Hammer, or the London Artifact. It was discovered to be part of a hammer that was trapped inside a rock that dates back to being over 400 million years old. Clearly, back then, they did not have hammers. So how the heck did a modern day human made tool date back to a time where humans weren't even around? Theory goes that it was dropped by a time traveler. But I want to know who would go that far back in time? But let me know in the comments below, would you rather travel to the past or the future? Number 10, Project Pegasus and the Chrononauts. While that may sound like a sweet alt-rock band, Project Pegasus didn't have anything to do with music, but with moving through time. Seattle attorney Andrew Basaggio has been making claims since 2004 that when he was younger, starting at the age of seven, he participated in the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, Project Pegasus, focusing on teleportation and time travel. He and a few others were chosen at a young age because allegedly children could adapt well to the strains of moving between past, present, and future. Along with his fellow chrononauts, love the name, he adventured throughout time to places like the Gettysburg Address in 1863 and to Ford's Theater to witness the assassination of President Lincoln, quote, five or six times. I don't know why he was so obsessed with Lincoln. He was allegedly even captured in a photograph. He claims that he witnessed eight different time travel technologies throughout the course of the project and that most were based on engineering specs and sketches by Nikola Tesla. And if one person was to come up with teleportation or time travel, I think it would be Tesla himself. Pure genius, that one. 
Andrew even met himself a few times in the past and surprisingly didn't cause a paradox. His claims are supported by others who say that the Defense Department has had time travel capabilities for over 40 years, but has kept it secret. Andrew Basaggio also ran for president in 2016, but we all know how that turned out. Maybe he should have used time travel to change the outcome. Number 9. Vrilin Ashtar Radio Incident On Saturday, November 26th, 1977, in the southern United Kingdom, a mysterious voice interrupted a news broadcast and gave strange commands and predictions of the future. Accompanied by unsettling pulsing noises and echoes, the electronic sounding voice claimed to be Vrillin, a representative of the Ashtar Galactic Command. Aliens or future beings sent to deliver a warning message that humans must denounce and remove all of their weapons of evil in order for an age of peace and prosperity to come to fruition, the age of Aquarius. If humans do not comply and turn from their evil ways, humanity will fall. Here's a little clip. Though the message is foreboding and super creepy, this messenger from the future actually makes some good points and gives some decent advice, like, have no fear, seek only to know yourselves and live in harmony with the ways of your planet Earth. Seems like they were listening to the hippies at the time and they had the right idea. After taking control of the station, they bid farewell and said they would leave our plane of existence, leaving us with their final words, may you be blessed by the supreme love and truth of the cosmos. Aw. Thanks, Verlin. Number 8. Guardian Angel In 2019, a video surfaced of a shop owner in Turkey tending to some of his merchandise. Very normal, nothing to see here, until a man calmly walks up behind him and casually taps him on the shoulder as he walks by, causing the shop owner to turn around. But not a moment later, a gate from a large truck driving by swings open, nearly killing him. And if it wasn't for this mystery man's actions, the shop owner would surely be dead. The truck driver returned to apologize for what had happened, but the mysterious stranger was nowhere to be found. Some commenters believe that this man had come back from the future to save lives. Perhaps not just the shopkeeps. That's the only one that we caught on camera. Others have noticed that the two men look similar, even their outfits aren't far off, implying that maybe it's the same man or their son somehow come back from the future. Though it looks like it was filmed on a potato, so who can be sure. Number 7. Rudolph Fentz The story of Rudolph Fentz is one that has been hotly debated amongst the time travel investigation community. In 1951, people in Times Square in New York City noticed a man suddenly appear, wearing 19th century clothing. He appeared to be disoriented and confused, and after running into an intersection in a daze, he was hit by a car and fatally injured. When his body was inspected, they found strange items in his possession that appeared to have come from another time. A copper token for a beer worth five cents bearing the name of a saloon, which was unknown even to older residents of the area. A bill for the care of a horse and the washing of a carriage made by a stable that was not listed in any address book. Old banknotes, business cards with his name and address, as well as a letter sent to him postmarked in 1876. These items in his attire have led people to believe that Rudolph was a man from the past, probably from 1876, who unfortunately slipped through time to a place that he didn't or couldn't comprehend, and his confusion ultimately killed him. Tragic story, really. Number 6. Bob White In 2003, Dave Hill, along with countless others, received an email from Bob White. Normally, a spam email would just get ignored by Dave, but this one was too strange to pass up. The email explained that he needed help from a time traveler, or any alien disguised as human, because his life had been severely tampered with, and he needed, quote, temporal reversion to correct it. He resorted to the internet to find help. You ever come across anything like time travel? He asked the people receiving the message for strange mechanical parts that didn't exist, like an AMD dimensional warp generator module containing the GRC79 induction motor, or an Acme 5X24 series time transducing capacitor with built-in temporal displacement. I don't even think a Time Lord could help him find these ridiculous sounding parts. But Dave Hill decided to have some fun and responded to his message saying that he could get what he needed. And he even sent an old hard drive motor to Bob, claiming that it was a warp generator, which Bob gratefully accepted, believing it was the part he needed. It's a time machine, Napoleon. You bought it online. You're right. It works, Napoleon. You don't even know. 
It was later revealed that Bob White was a man named Robbie Tadino, a 22 year old from Massachusetts who admitted to sending over 100 million messages for help out into cyberspace, and truly believed and still does believe that he was affected by time travel and needs to make a machine to fix it. The story he describes and the machine he seems intent on building is so specific that many people are convinced he has met time travelers or aliens and is really trying to recreate their technology with human things that just don't exist yet. Let's just hope he gets it all sorted out. Number 5. The Philadelphia Experiment and Montauk Project I've talked about these before in a previous video, but they require another mention here as there are so many accounts of what happened that it's overwhelming. Allegedly, there was a secret military operation being performed in 1943 at the shipyard aboard the USS Eldridge. The experiment involved cloaking, not time travel, strangely enough, but when they attempted to conceal the ship with the technology they developed, the ship did indeed disappear, but that was because it was moved 10 minutes into the past, which reportedly caused some of the crew to go mad. And later, another secret military operation called the Montauk Project was tasked with creating gates for time travel, using psychic links from children who are much more attuned to these kinds of things apparently, and can open their minds more, so the witnesses claim. One of these many gates that were opened apparently led back to the USS Eldridge during the 10 minutes of time dilation, but these two experiments are linked by one person who has since shared their experience. Number 4. Al Bielik Al Bielik was a Navy officer aboard the USS Eldridge during the Philadelphia experiment, also known as Project Rainbow, and when the time jump occurred, he wasn't sent 10 minutes into the past, he claims that he was sent forward to the year 2137. When he was rescued from the water, he was taken to a futuristic hospital, where he was treated for radiation sickness they say he developed from the time jump. He described major differences in the world, the coastlines being swallowed by the oceans, worldwide government collapse, followed by the rise of a system that allowed everyone to get what they need when they needed it, for free, by abolishing the concept of money. He was eventually sent back and continued to live his life, burdened by what he had learned, with few believing him, until he was later recruited by the Montauk Project as their program director for the psychics involved with creating the time tunnels, which he used to investigate as far back as 100,000 BC and as far forward as the year 6037. Of course, he maintains that the government has done everything in their power to stop him from revealing all of this, disavowing him once he went public with his stories. Do you believe his story? Let me know in the comments. Number 3. Time Traveling Trump Now. I don't like talking about this former first family very much unless it has to do with all the current investigations, but some of these coincidences are just a little too eerie, though I do believe that they are just that. This conspiracy theory came from a discovery on the Library of Congress website, where readers found books from the 1890s, one called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey, and another called 1900, or The Last President. The first is about a young man named Baron Trump, who discovers portals for time travel, and at one point in the book he was actually guided by a man named Dawn. In the second book, an odd choice for president wins the election, and has someone with the last name Pence in their cabinet. Even the address where New York's Trump Tower now stands was mentioned. Personally, I believe that the former president's son Barron was named after the character in the book, not the other way around. But the connections found are certainly interesting. Number 2. Mike Markham In early 1995, 21 year old Mike Madman Markham attempted to build a time machine on his front porch. Of course, it didn't work, but that didn't deter him, and he kept working towards his goal. He later stole the expensive parts that he needed and caused a bit of trouble doing so. Then after he got out of jail, he went on a radio program called Coast to Coast AM to talk about the machine he was building, saying that he was nearly finished and would be testing it soon, even giving out his phone number so that anyone with knowledge on the subject could help him out. Then he disappeared off the face of the earth. No one could find him for months, after which he said he was going to travel back in time only with his cell phone, and later that same week, an old story was dug up from the 1930s of a man who was found dead on a beach in California, encapsulated in some sort of metal tube with a strange device, the description of which matches that of a cell phone from the 1990s. Could that be the eventual fate of Mike? And finally, our number one, Under the Sink. In 2006, a Swedish man by the name of Hakan Nordvist was fixing a leak from a cracked pipe under his sink when he noticed something strange, a bright light that seemed to beckon him in a way. He crawled in and suddenly appeared somewhere completely different, but he wasn't alone. He claims that he met someone there, or rather, he met himself. He claimed that he ran into himself, but a future version, perhaps around 70 years old. And since he knew no one would believe him, he pulled out his cell phone and filmed the meeting. The 
two men do look remarkably similar, but the clincher for this whole story is when they rolled up their sleeves and revealed that they both have the exact same tattoo in the exact same place. We all know that one of the main rules of time travel is to never interact with yourself, so we're lucky he didn't cause a paradox and rip a hole in time and space. Mm -hmm.